One of the finest and oldest civilizations was ancient Egypt. They were also famous for their massive architecture. Ancient Egyptians had many afterlife symbols. Ancient Egyptian art and architecture impacted other cultures. Here are 10 outstanding Egyptian monuments. Here is the list of top 10 great monuments of ancient Egypt. 10. Valley of the Kings In the west bank of the Nile, the Valley of Kings was the main burial site of New Kingdom pharaohs, 1539-1075 BC. The valley has 60 graves and chambers. It was where queens, priests, and other famous Egyptians were buried. Mummification preserved royal bodies then. Archaeologists found most tombs and rooms during 2005 to 2008 excavations. One of the world's most important archaeological sites. In 1979, UNESCO named Valley of Kings a world historic site. Pharaoh's underground tombs contain clothes, wines, furniture, and jewels. The royal tombs contained many sacred items. Ancient Egyptians thought such items would give corpses perpetual life. The site's tombs were built of limestone and sedimentary materials. Valley of Kings royal tombs represent Egyptian mythology. 9. Temple of Hatshepsut Hatshepsut Temple, Dirilbar, is opposite Lexer City near Valley of Kings. Dirilbar means Monastery of North in Egyptian. The temple was dedicated to Thebes deity, Amun. Madker Hatshepsut erected the temple in 15th century BC. The temple was heavily influenced by the Nile Bank de Relbari Temple. The building has three terraces. A 100-foot carsway leads to the temple's 30-meter peak. The temple walls depict Madker Hatshepsut's life events. The temple's central terrace relief sculpture depicts Hatshepsut's heavenly birth. Pharaoh's search for myrrh trees to decorate the temple is depicted in the punt colonnade and lengthy columns. 8. Medinet Habu Medinet Habu, popularly known as Ramses III's Mortuary Temple, is a massive Luxor temple complex. The temple was built 3,500 years ago to honor Ramses III. Entire complex enclosed by partially ruined ancient wall. The temple's outer wall had Ramses III war reliefs. Ramses III's tomb is in a temple hall. His chamber holds many costly jewels, cloves, and other items. 7. Pyramid of Djoser Egyptians erected their first pyramid, Djoser. The pyramid was built for Djoser in 27th century BC. The six-layer step pyramid is 60 meters tall. It has flat top and sloping sides. It took 11.6 cubic million stones and clay to build the Djoser Pyramid. Pyramids were the largest stone structures of their day. It sits in a 35-acre complex including temples, chapels, and other structures. It symbolizes the crown monumentally. Six kilometers of tunneled chambers and galleries exist. Between the tunnels are the pharaohs and royal family's tombs. The burial rooms had jewelry and other items. 6. A Luxor Temple. Six temples make up Luxor Temple, a famous Egyptian complex. Thebes deities Amun, Mut, and Khonsu were honored in the temples. The site is well known for the Opet Festival, an important ancient Egyptian religious festival. At that time, Thebes, Amun, Mut, and Khonsu statues were sailed to the Nile. The temple was built of sandstone around 14th century BC. Long term neglect plagued the complex. Alexander the Great rebuilt the shrine around 320 BC. There are several open spaces throughout the temple. They were employed for various worship during the new monarchy. 1539-1075 BC, Pharaoh's military victories were depicted on Luxon Temple's enormous Bylon Towers. Another draw is the site's six massive Ramesses statues at the entrance. Wall paintings depict Pharaoh's heavenly birth. 5. Karnak Temple, Nile Side Karnak, is a vast ancient temple complex. The 100 hectare location is enormous. It was originally called Ipit, Iset Most Sacred Places, the second largest temple complex in the world. Karnak has three main temples, several outlying temples, chapels, and other structures. The primary temples of Karnak were devoted to Amun, Mut, and Montu, the gods of Thebes. Karnak Temple Complex building began 4,000 years ago and lasted 1,300 years. Karnak Complex employed over 13 pharaohs. 
The temples illustrate distinct ancient Egyptian worship styles. The most famous part of Karnak is Amun Re. It honors Amun, Thebes god. Tall columns, lots of tapering monuments, and massive statues are there. Sandstones are employed mostly in Amun Re temple construction. The second Mut temple is toward the south of the compound. The temple is near a crescent shaped sacred lake. Another important temple is devoted to Montu, the fighting god, in the north. It is smaller than two significant temples. 4. Colossi of Memnon. The two massive Colossi of Memnon statues depict Amenhotep III. As funeral temple guards, the statues were constructed in 1350 BC. The court sites and stone statues were carved. Both statues are seated pharaoh style with hands on knees facing the river. They weigh 750 tons and are 75 feet tall. Both monuments were damaged by humans and nature. Both monuments are spectacular and draw thousands of tourists annually. 3. Abyssimbal Temples Abyssimbal has two huge rock temples on the west bank of the Nile. Ramesses II built the mountain side temples between 1264 and 1244 BC. Abyssimbal worshipped Amon Re and Re Harakti. 469 foot Ramesses II statues tower at the entrance. The distant temple was abandoned after a long time. Swiss Orientalist Jean Louis Burke hit and nerfed it in 1813. Abyssimbal temples have rock cutting halls and apartments. Ramesses Osirid statues are in the halls. Inner temple chambers connect to halls. Every February 22nd and October, the sun illuminates the rear wall of the innermost four sun god statues. The most notable aspect of Abu Simbel temples. 2. The Great Sphinx of Giza. The Great Sphinx of Giza is the world's largest monolith statue on the Nile's west bank. The limestone statue of a mythological lion human hybrid is enormous. It measures 73.5 meters long and 66.34 meters tall. The world's oldest monument is the Great Sphinx. Archaeologists estimated the monument's construction between 2558 and 2532 BC. The monument's face was damaged by natural erosion and human action. The purpose of the Big Sphinx is unknown. The Big Sphinx was buried in sand after Giza necropolis was abandoned. The site was initially excavated in 1388 BC. Over the years, archaeologists conducted several excavations. Between 1925 and 1936, the monument was fully excavated. After excavation, archaeologists found the Sphinx's one-meter snout gone. Napoleon's army may have fractured the Sphinx's nose. 1. Great Pyramid of Giza Egyptian Giza necropolis houses the Great Pyramid, one of seven wonders of the ancient world. It is the oldest and largest of Giza's three pyramids for Khufu, Khafra, and Menkor. The Giza Pyramid was built 2589-2504 BC. Over 2.3 million stone blocks were utilized to build it. It was the tallest artificial structure in the world for 3,800 years at 481 feet. Giza pyramid mortar is stronger than stones. Archaeologists felt that mortar is unreplicable today. Pyramid of Giza has three chambers. The first is underground and carved into bedrock. Above ground queen and king chambers. The king's chamber had a granite roof with nine massive slabs weighing over 400 tons. An 8-meter high, 47-meter long grand gallery leads to the king's room. 